this is a problem because if you take this uh, spur assembly uh, and then you put it into the motor mount just like this, right there, it just snapped in. Whenever this motor mount, what's going on guys? Danny here from Cobra Racing. So in this video, I wanna go over two of the main reasons that you're actually destroying your spur gear and basically how to avoid it. Now, stripping spurs is pretty common in this hobby. You know, you take out your car, uh, you start bashing, and then, you know, it's plastic, right? It's gonna strip. So I'm gonna go over two products that you can actually install, upgrade products. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive, and they will basically almost guarantee uh, that you're not gonna have to deal with a stripped spur again. So the first product I'm gonna go over is pretty obvious, but the second product is a lot less obvious uh, to many people. So the first product I wanna go over is this awesome Cobra Racing uh, Spur Assembly. Take a look at this spur assembly. This is basically comes, uh, you know, fully assembled with the clutch, the pads, the spring, the shaft. Uh, basically, as you see it on video right here is how you get it. Um, the cool thing about this spur assembly is it comes in hardened steel. Uh, the spur section is all hardened steel. Uh, the shaft is hardened steel and basically comes with all the pads, the, you know, the clutch and all that stuff. It's incredibly difficult uh, to strip, uh, you know, this spur um, not impossible, obviously, under the right condition, right? Everything breaks, uh, but very, very difficult to strip, you know, the teeth on this spur. So that's the first option that you can do if you're constantly stripping spurs. Um, and it's an obvious one too, right? Because plastic is pretty soft uh, and it's very easy to strip. Now, the second option I wanna show you, and this is uh, a lot less obvious to many people um, as to why they're stripping their, their spur is this. Take a look at this. So this is the stock motor mount on a Traxxas, I believe, slash 4x4, right? And this is all plastic. And look at the plastic. Basically, if you're bashing and you take a big jump, this thing flexes. And this is a problem because if you take this uh, spur assembly uh, and then you put it into the motor mount just like this, right there, it just snapped in. Whenever this motor mount bends, right, it's going to shift the spur. So what happens is, you know, you're running at 40 miles an hour, right? Uh, your, pinning, uh, your pinion is spinning very fast and it's hitting, you know, it's meshing with the spur. And then when this bends on a jump, uh, the spur is going to move um, and it's going to end up stripping, right? So the motor mount is actually very, very important if you want to save both your spur gears uh, and also the differential components, because remember, this also connects to the differential. So whenever the motor mount flexes, uh, you're basically moving all the parts that connects to the spur and the shaft, right? So what connects to the to the spur is the pinion, and then what connects to the shaft is both the center uh, the center um, drive shaft and also the differential. So whenever this moves, you're basically affecting multiple components, uh, effectively degrading a lot of components on your truck. So the workaround to this and to solve this issue is actually pretty simple. Uh, you're going to need one of these motor mounts. This is a Cobra Racing motor mount. So take a look at this motor mount. Right there. Uh, this motor mount is made of 7075 T6 high grade aluminum. This particular model comes in uh, midnight black, as you can see with the chrome highlights, right? Uh, we also carry this in navy blue, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go over the motor mount, uh, you know, the, the black one, uh, basically. So being that this is aluminum, this thing will never flex no matter the conditions, right? So it doesn't matter how high you jump, uh, how fast you're driving. Uh, this thing is always gonna keep your spur situated. Now, the best part about this motor mount that you cannot see um, is the bearing that it comes with. Take a look at this bearing, guys. Look at this bearing. This is a supersized, uh, oversized bearing um, that comes with this motor mount. Now, if you take a look at this bearing, the oversized bearing versus the bearing that comes on the stock OEM, look at the difference, guys. This actually is a lot bigger um, and a lot wider as well, uh, the, the bearing that comes with our motor mount. And what this does is if you take this oversized bearing and then you put it on the spur assembly, right? And then you take this and you put it in our motor mount. Take a look at this, guys. Right there. Because this bearing is a lot bigger and a lot wider, it actually gives a lot more support to the spur assembly. So when this thing is spinning, look at this. 
spins like butter. So the bearing gives it a lot more support and this support translates to basically less parts that are actually moving uh, depending on how you're driving, whether you're bashing or racing or you know crashing, it doesn't matter. Uh, this thing basically stays put because you have a much wider and bigger bearing um, and then you have the motor mount that doesn't actually flex. So if you combine both uh, an aluminum, in this case, the Cobra Racing uh, motor mount uh, with the Cobra Racing spur assembly, um, basically you're gonna have a situation where it's very, very unlikely uh, that you're ever gonna strip you know, one of these gears. Uh, it's not impossible, right? Everything breaks, there's nothing that's unbreakable, um, but it's very unlikely or uh, uncommon, I should say, uh, that you're ever gonna either break or strip one of these gears. Now, of course, there's other factors into play, right? I mean, you have to make sure that your gear mesh uh, is on point because remember, whenever the pinion is hitting the spur, if it's not you know meshing perfectly it's either going to be too loose or too uh tight um and if it's too loose and then gears are basically banging on each other uh you're going to have issues so you have to make sure that the gear mesh is spot on uh and if it is and you have both the cobra racing spur assembly and the cobra racing motor mounts um likely you're never going to have any issues uh with either stripping or breaking uh, a spur gear if you guys are interested in picking up either the motor mount or the spur gear assembly i am going to drop the links on both of these products in the description so make sure you check them out when you have some time and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments make sure you let me know in the comment section below also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.